This video is a visual guide on how to make dilutions in perfumery. This video is for if you're just starting out in perfumery and you've never gone and made your first dilution before, you may be watching other videos on perfumery wondering how do I actually go and make these dilutions. Well, in this video I'm going to illustrate exactly how you do it and luckily it's really, really easy. So let's begin. Before you can make your dilutions, you're going to need a few different things. Firstly, you're going to need a scale and that's to weigh out the different quantities of things. Secondly, you're going to need some perfumer's alcohol and that's going to be the solvent with which you dilute your raw materials. Then you're going to need an empty sample bottle to make your dilution into. And then of course, you're also going to need your raw material which you wish to dilute. Now, as well as that, if your raw material is a solid or a powder, then a spatula can be quite helpful with the weighing out. Alternatively, if your raw material is a liquid, I would recommend using a pipette. Next, you're going to have to actually calculate the different amounts of the raw material and the alcohol for your dilution. I find a calculator can be very helpful for this, or alternatively, if you use the Formula Perfumery app. Now, I've done a whole video on how to calculate the amounts of both alcohol and raw materials to make your desired dilution. So if you're not quite sure how to calculate the percentages, then I'll put a link in the description to that video and you can go and check that out. Finally, you're going to need a pen and some labels, and this is just so you can write down what your dilution is. Otherwise, you'll be lost in a sea of bottles without any labels and you have no idea what's in them. So then, without further ado, let's make our first dilution. So what I'm going to start off by doing is turning on the scale and putting the empty sample vial onto it. And I'm going to tar the scale to make it read zero. What I'm going to do next is add some of the perfumes alcohol. And what I generally try to do is fill up the bottle maybe to around two thirds. So make it so there's still a bit of space for the raw material. Then we need to work out how much of the raw material to add. So because we're making a 10% dilution, We'll take the amount of perfume as alcohol, which is 7.722 grams, and divide it by 9. And that leaves us with 0.858 grams of the raw material to add. So next, I'll take the raw material, we'll take a pipette, and then before adding it, we'll tear the scale again to make it read zero. And once we've done that, we can start adding our raw material. Now, usually I like to add the first few drops before putting it on the scale, and that's just because sometimes the scale can try to correct itself back to zero if you add a very small amount. So I find it's most accurate if you take it off for the first few drops. Then you can put it on the scale and keep adding drops until you get to your 0.858 grams. Now, it's going to be impossible to weigh it completely accurately to 0.001 grams all of the time, so in general, just try to make it as close as possible. Try to make it within the nearest drop or so. Once we've done that, well, that's all it is. You've made your dilution. Then just put the cap on the bottle, give it a good shake and make sure to label it. So in this case, we did value tone. So I'm just going to write on the label value tone 10%. Now I'll also show you how to work out the dilutions quickly with the formula app. So what you can do there is if you create an entry for that raw material, just scroll down to the dilution section and find the dilution that you want to make, or if you don't have it yet, then just create it using the add dilution button. Then you need to press the FX button in the dilution and a little pop-up will come up and it will say, it will ask you what dilution you're starting with and how much you want to make. So in this case for our 10% dilution, because we're making it from the pure raw material, we're going to put 100 for the starting dilution because it's 100%, i.e. not diluted at all. And then for the amount to make, these bottles usually fit around 10 grams or so. So let's type in 10 grams and then press calculate and it will tell us how much of the raw material and how much of the alcohol to add. And again, as I said, if you want to work out this stuff for yourself on your calculator, well, you can go and watch my video on mass for perfumery. I'll put a link in the description and it will explain everything you need to know about doing those calculations. Now let's repeat the process just one more time and this time I'll show you how to do it with a solid instead of a liquid. So the only difference in a solid instead of a liquid is that I like to add the raw material this time before doing the alcohol. And the reason for that is because I'm going to be using this spatula and I don't want the spatula to touch the wet edges of the sample vial. So by putting the solid raw material in first we can get around that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to again tear the scale with the weight of the bottle so it reads zero 
and then I'm going to take some of my raw material, this time scooping it up with the spatula, and then I'm going to scoop it into the bottle. And in this case, I'm going to go for somewhere around 0.5 grams. We've weighed out to 0.495 grams in the end. And then I just need to work out how much alcohol to add. So again, using the calculator, this time we're going in reverse. I'm going to take that number and times it by nine. So 0.495 times nine, that's going to equal 4.455 grams. So now I'm going to go to my perfumer's alcohol and I'm going to take a new pipette and I'm going to weigh out 4.455 grams of the perfumer's alcohol. Remember, before you start adding this, you need to tear the scale again so it reads zero. So that's pretty much it. Then I add it and we've got the new 10% dilution. So because this one's a solid, even when I shake it, it hasn't dissolved straight away. Some things dissolve more quickly than others. You should just leave it a while and shake it periodically. If you're really having trouble getting it to dissolve, then you can also try putting it on a radiator or something to warm it up a little. That should help it dissolve just a little bit quicker. But yeah, that's all there really is to it. Don't be scared if it's a solid or something else or like a really thick material. As long as you use the scale, you won't have any trouble. Just go by the weights and the form of the raw material, whether it be liquid, solid or something else, shouldn't really matter too much. So yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time with some more perfumery content. This video is sponsored by Luxeterra, my online store where you can find all of the essential equipment for perfumery. Only good quality and good value for money products make the cut and I use almost all of the products myself when making perfumes for my brand. To browse the full range of products, visit www.lux-terra.co.uk or click the link in the description.